I started running uh, when I was growing up, always been really into my sport uh, and I found running was just a great way to vent all the excess energy that I had as a kid. Uh, my best memory will be in Marathon de Saab as myself and four Moroccan athletes were running across a dried out lake. Uh, on our right hand side were some dunes uh, and then just about 25 metres on our left hand side there were a family of black camels just running alongside us for about five minutes and we probably covered a kilometre and a half uh, in that time that just seemed to just disappear. Like, just absolutely incredible. So I still think about that now. Uh, the hardest race I've done was the Eiger, 101 kilometres, uh, with six and a half thousand metres climbing. It was my first mountain race uh, and this, some of the slopes were incredibly steep. Uh, you lost a lot of traction on your feet uh, and using poles is just a whole new style of running and style of racing, um, but I learned a lot from it and I look forward to doing more similar races in the future. It's really difficult, uh, especially being based in the UK, um, where a lot of the races that we do at the beginning of the year, um, so you're not used to preparing for a hot race in a cold environment. Uh, so for me, I do lots of yoga, uh, do Pilates and strength conditioning, that just helps to keep my movement uh, as good as possible. I'm also incredibly fortunate to be supported by St Mary's University and they provide me with some physio and strength and conditioning and nutrition uh, that allows me to stay as healthy as I can. So. Key focuses for 2018, uh, I'm at the moment preparing for uh, the Coastal Challenge Costa Rica, it's 250 kilometres multi-stage race across Costa Rica, which is in February, uh, before then hoping to represent Great Britain in the Trail World Championships in Penagoloso in Spain in May. Uh, and then I'm heading out to the US uh, to do a couple of big races out there. Um, and then, who knows, watch this space.